Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I'm Catherine, and on this channel we do home decor and DIY projects. For today's video, we're going to be creating some Easter tier trade decor that is fashioned after the French shabby chic style. So if that is something that you're into, I would hope that you stick around, like, and subscribe. So for our first project, we're going to be creating a wooden bunny, and these wooden bunnies came from the Dollar Tree. I did pick up two of them, and we're going to create two different styles of these. So I am going to use my Antique Waverly Wax, and I'm going to cover the whole bunny with that. Once I get it on the wood, I take a paper towel and I just wipe off the antique wax so I get a really nice stain. Then we're going to make a shabby bow, and today I'm only using ribbon, but you can really use anything for your shabby bow. You can use fabric as well, and they turn out super fluffy and really cute. So once I get my desired ribbon, I take some twine and I'm just going to wrap that around in the middle and give it a good knot to hold it in place. Once I have my knot there, I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue it into the middle of the bunny's ears. This is a super easy project and it doesn't take a lot of skill or a lot of time, which is something I am always seeming to be in need of. So once I get that glued into the middle of my bunny ears, I want to finish off my bow. I don't like to leave just the twine there. So I'm going to take a button and I'm going to glue it into the middle. And then I'm going to show you here how I styled this cute little wooden bunny in my tiered tray. Project number two, we're going to take another one of those wooden bunnies, and I already covered this one in the Antique Waverly Wax. You guys are going to laugh at me, but I finally remembered to use the candle wax and painted the Antique Waverly Wax below the paint color. So once I get it all painted on there, though, I realize that I don't actually have the plastic scraper that I need to give it the chippy look. <laughs> I really did give myself a good laugh here. So I... I went ahead and I persevered though and I used my sanding block and one side of my sanding block I had used it with some wet paint so it is like super like soft on one side so I used the soft side like maybe thinking that it would mimic a little bit like the plastic scraper I did get a definite different look than just using a sanding block on regular paint so for that I do think that this technique is going to work for me one of these days <laughs> So once I get that all distressed, I have these really cute little bows that someone had given me. I think they came from Hobby Lobby, uh, but they had like a little, like maybe like an elastic type thing on the back. So I just wrapped it around one of the bunny ears. I'm going to glue it in place and then I will show you how I styled this one. So today's project is part of the Easter Tear Tray Collab and I am co-hosting this with my wonderful friend Crafty Lini. She is an amazing crafter and does a lot of shabby chic decor as well so you will definitely want to go down and check out the link to her channel in my description box. There will also be a link to the playlist so you can check out all four of our videos today for some really great inspiration for an Easter Tear Tray. Each of us has a unique style and so you won't be disappointed for any of the projects that you see today in the collab. So our next project is really a tip or a hack rather than a DIY, but I picked up these bunnies at the Target dollar spot. I thought that they were absolutely adorable, and if you saw my tea party video, these were kind of part of my whimsical Alice in Wonderland display, but I also thought that, there, that you could add some ribbon and some buttons to give this some more French country appeal, and this is a super easy thing to do to add an elevated twist to this. So if you have decor that's kind of laying around or you want to add something to make it look a little bit more high-end this is a great way to do that you could also wrap it around the neck if you have bigger bunnies you could definitely add bigger bows more buttons anything like that to give it a more shabby chic look I attempt to be more a little bit on the simplistic side so this was absolutely perfect for me and it went along great in my tiered tray For 
For this next project, we're going to make over a beaded garland, and I got this beaded garland at the Dollar Tree. Now, I think it's super cute the way that it is, but it doesn't match the colors that I'm going for, and it doesn't give me the shabby chic or the French country farmhouse look that I would like. So all I'm really going to do is paint each one of these beads with my antique white acrylic paint. I don't do like a total coverage. I just am sort of dry brushing that paint on there. It gives it a definite muted look and I absolutely am in love with how it turned out. I have a bunny one as well and I think I'm going to do the same thing with the bunny one. So then I took some more of the ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree and I just wanted to add more to the tassel that's down here at the bottom it has a yellow ribbon and I did go ahead and leave the yellow ribbon in there but it's kind of hidden in all the other ribbons that I add on here um, but I absolutely love how this turned out it was super easy definitely budget friendly and a really qu quick DIY so all I'm going to do is glue my ribbons here to the tassel that is already there and once I get all the ribbons kind of glued around the entire tassel you can see my ribbons are a little bit too long I go ahead and clip those off and then I have this really fun tassel that I didn't really have to do too much to. I did take some twine and wrap it around the top so that it looks like a cohesive tassel. Then I thought the chick needed a little bow as well. It's a tiny bit big for the chick that's there, um, but I thought he looked super cute with it. And then here it is styled in my tiered tray. So for this project we're going to be making a stuffed bunny to go in our tray and these are these little bags that I got at the Dollar Tree. This last bag I created a garland with last year and I'll link that video down in my description box if you want to check out that garland. It turned out <laughs> super super cute. But today I wanted to just create some little bunnies to go in my tiered tray and so I'm going to just take two of the bags um, and I'm going to fill them with some uh, stuffing that I already had. I've had this bag of stuffing for quite a long time and I'm pretty sure I got mine at Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff them pretty full and then I'm going to use the twine that came with the bag and I'm just going to tie it around the bag and once you do that the ears will kind of fluff out for you. I did go ahead and put some hot glue kind of in the middle between the ears just to give it a little bit more ear look if you're wanting it to stand out a little bit. Once I get that kind of glued down, then I go ahead and um, trim off the twine that I wrapped around there. That way, when I add my ribbon bow to it or my, my shabby bow to it, you won't be able to really see the twine. So I'm just doing the same technique that I did earlier, and I know that it looks here on camera like my ribbon has like some lines in it. I think that's just the light I'm using, but there are just solid colors. So I have pink and like a light green and then that lovely lace ribbon that they have at the Dollar Tree. All of them came from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to make a quick shabby bow again with my twine, tie it, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue that into the middle. I am going to go ahead and add another button because I love buttons if you've been following me for a while, you already know that. Um, this little container of buttons was given to me, but they're all just cream colored buttons, which is really fun. However, I'm kind of running out of the bigger buttons, and so, um, anyway, they're hard to do. Oh, I forgot that I added another one of these little bows. So one of my bags has a button and one of the bags has another one of these little bows that had the elastic part from our previous wooden bunny. And then I'm just going to add these to my tray and you can check out what they look like. For this project, we're going to use the stuffed carrot bag just to add that into our tiered tray. I had a whole video of um, like carrot DIYs from last year, and I did use one of these in a, a DIY in that video, so I'll post that video down in my description box as well if you want to check out those farmhouse carrot DIYs. But all I did was add stuffing here, tie it, cinch it to give you the, the greenery at the top, and then the little strings, I just tied them in a bow. And then just to add some little farmhouseness or some shabby chicness, I guess, because these are kind of bright colors, I went ahead and just added three of my cream colored bows to the front. And then I stuck this cutie into my tear tray and I will show you here what that looks like.
So here's a look at the tray all together with all of the projects that we did today along with some of the projects that I created earlier this year for a tiered tray. So if you have been following me for a while, you can see some of those uh, farmhouse ones that I did with the solo wood flowers, which are, you guys know, some of my favorite things to work with. So I absolutely love the colors and the way that this looks and I just... I don't know, fell in love with all the projects from today. I do have a little bit of space down in the bottom of my tray, and so I definitely think I need to create a few more DIYs to make this look complete. Don't forget to go down in my description box and check out the playlist so you don't miss any of the inspiration for today's Easter tier tray collab, and check out Crafty Lini's channel. She does so much shabby chic that you will absolutely fall in love. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you in my next video.